welcome everybody to a new Minecraft series. I know I promised to <laughs> do one of these a while ago, so I'm sorry for not getting that sooner, but I thought, you know, I'd start it with this new update and would kind of go into this completely blind and go on this kind of a fun little journey with you guys. So welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, please hit the subscribe button, but without further ado, let's get into it. So let's start new world. And we'll name it Spoo Survival. Well, have survival. I have, wow, this is weird with all this. Uh, Blue Survival, normal difficulty, cheats off. Uh, game rules, we don't need to change any of that. Let's try it. Let's create ourselves a world. Alrighty. Here we are. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. All right, let's first get a good look at the surrounding area. And, uh, oh, here with that. It looks as though we are on an island. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alrighty, well, it doesn't look like we're too isolated. So let me get some wood here and we'll, uh, Try to craft a few tools and things like that before heading out. I'm interested to hear from you guys what you'd like to see from this series. I don't know if it's strange survival redstone builds, farms, massive mega builds. I don't know. I am I am curious to hear from you guys what you're looking for. And I'd love to try to make that happen. Mm, actually. Oh, we'll get a we'll get an axe right now. Why not? Alrighty. Oh, hello there. Well, I'm gonna chop a few trees really quick and I'll get back to you guys. All right, I think we have enough wood that'll last us for a while. We got 17, 19, I think that'll be good. And while I'm here, I think I'm going to actually take these sheep out. I think it'll be best that I grab the wool just in case. Because I do not plan on staying here. This is uh, not the most interesting place to set up a base. But I am more than willing to come back here. This is well, pretty close to zero, 0 But what I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking making a boat getting out of here oh, perfect got the achievement but for now i'm gonna run around the island and see what will be around this area i don't know if we'll be able to find anything <laughs> at least nothing that interesting but because so far it looks like this is very standard terrain generation it's a very standard Lame area. Well, I know I just got back, but I'm gonna fast forward in time really quick again just to get a little bit of stone and some coal and some things like that. So I will uh, talk to you guys in a little bit. All right. All right, well, the sun is setting, and I know there's more coal around here. I'll grab this last coal, and then we'll head off before we go. I was just thinking how it might be interesting to see how many different areas I can get to in just the first two days to find base locations, because I want to have a base location set up by the end of this episode. But I know I probably won't get to building much of it. So what I'm thinking of doing is we're gonna go and explore three four five areas hopefully we'll see how much and then after that we'll kind of decide on where we want to end up i might set a temporary base up before uh, anything happens but comments up to you guys to decide maybe we'll see we'll see how quickly i can get you guys commenting 
for now, we're headed off into the distance to figure out what we will do. So with that, I'll let you guys know when we're at our first place. Alrighty. I really do like this area. It's nice open savanna. I don't think I've ever personally built in a savanna, actually. I've done a lot of plains, I've done mountains, I've done technically oceans and beaches, but savanna is just an interesting biome that I haven't personally ever gotten into. But with a mountain up there, that is just, wow, I don't think I've seen anything like that before. I mean, to be fair, I haven't played Minecraft in a decent amount of time, but who knows. Ooh, and a village. Oh, this might be just the place. Got a nice little cove kind of thing, little mountainside area. Oh, here's a nice cove. Oh, nice little cove here. Hmm. Well, I don't know. You guys will have to tell me what you think. I'll look around a little bit. I'll go show you a little bit of the area. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we'll see what comes about. Actually, this is quite a nice little area. We have a mix of plains and jungle. We have a little jungle island here. Heavy, heavy jungle off to our that's west, right? Are we facing west? I don't remember where it is. Yes, facing west, wow. Off to our west. And Got our own little nice water area here too. A lot of jungle, more jungle over there for sure. Hmm. Oh, and parrots. I like that. Well, parrots, melons, bamboo, plains and hills, which looks like savanna also off to that distance over there, but I'm not too sure. But if I'm being honest with you guys, I am definitely more excited about the savanna area previously. Although the grass is not half as green, it is enjoyable over there. So here's what we'll do. I'll set up a very temporary base over there for this episode. Grab some bamboo really quick. We'll set up a temporary base over there in the savanna area. And... If you guys want to see more building in here, maybe we can do a little outpost in here. We could do a, we could do a fun little, who knows? Maybe we could have a campsites or a mining area, or this could be an industrial district, or I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the idea of a, too much of an industrial district, just because I like decorating builds so they at least look halfway decent. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys want me to do if you want me to stay in the area with the... Oh, this is not good. Oh, it's too late. I'll let that burn out. Um, <clears throat> let me know what you guys want me to do with this area. If you want me to kind of just stick to the savanna area, kind of build that up, move somewhere completely different. I, I am open to a lot of different things. What we could also do, a little bit of a strange idea, we could just have a very, very temporary base over there. And then once we get Elytra, we can get a little bit of a better picture of what, ooh, little lag spike, what our world really looks like. So maybe, maybe we could do that too. So for now, I'm going to set up a very temporary base anyways, but I'll leave that up to you guys to decide whether or not we keep it very temporary, just in case. But um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys when I get to our new home.
Alrighty, so here's my kind of a layout idea of a very easy, simple starter base. We'll have maybe a little uh, kind of a storage cellar room down below. It's it's very rudimentary, very basic, I know. Um, this is just kind of the basic outline. And then we'll have, uh, we'll extend this out actually a little bit more. There we go. So maybe something like this. It's very simple, very easy. Nothing uh, very exciting at all. But I, I think this was good. We can have a nice little look out towards the village. And yeah, no, I think, I think this will be good. So I'm gonna collect a lot more acacia wood. And, uh, or however you say it. I think it's acacia, right? Acacia, that's how I say it at least. I'll collect some more of that and um, yeah, I'll start building this up and I'll kind of check in with you guys a little bit later to just kind of see a little bit of the progress. So, kind of a big shout out to uh, you know, blockpallets.com. I'll be honest, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in the description. But basically, I was very confused because I've never built with acacia. Um, especially acacia planks. I think I've maybe done the logs themselves just because it's a nice gray, but acacia planks are a lot harder to work with. So I went on to the block pallets just to see uh, what we could find that might actually work well with acacia. And it was hard to find anything. I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> it is very hard to find, but I think I found something that might just work. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I know we passed, oh, I don't remember where, but I know we passed the, oh, I think it was this direction. We passed some dark oak, and I think that might help balance some of the kind of redder, brighter tones. I'm not sure, but it is getting nighttime as I'm going into a dark oak forest, which is not great, not at all. Uh, a little nervous about that, but it's okay. I have my trusty boots. And if I know anything about boots, um, at least my feet won't hurt when I die. That's all I know. Anyways, I am going to continue searching. That's why I don't run an F5. Um, I'm going to continue searching for, uh, I see spruce. Uh-oh, where's dark oak? Mm. Well, anyways, I'm going to continue searching for the dark oak. And it might be over here, actually. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll update you guys when I get some dark oak and have headed back and everything. All right, guys. Well, I'll be honest. I did not finish yet, but it is getting late for me in the day, and I am very, very tired. So I am sorry I didn't get to finish for the first episode, but I will give you an update right now on kind of what I have done, and um, we'll pick up right where we left off for the second episode. I'll just see if I can do that quickly, just so that we can pump out two pretty consecutively quick episodes, uh, but I'll let you guys know. But without further ado, here is what we have thus far. So coming up here, we'll, uh, we'll walk through, actually starting from here. Got our nice little garden. We have my one milling plant, composter. We have our very not efficient mine because, I mean, let's be honest, everyone uses stairs. But the reason I did this is because I wanted mainly just cobblestone for the build in stone. But um, here's the build as far as you can see, or as you heard earlier. I, uh, I was trying to add a little bit of texturing into everything, but <clears throat> once I do get enough, um, Wheat. I'll probably put some of that down here as hay bills and kind of like storage, a little outdoor storage decoration. Um, inside, it's really nothing else is done. I just built up around it more. Um, I have ideas for the roof that I think will look really nice and will go well into the style. Um, got some glass ready so I can pop in some windows and some really cool spots. And I also have this underground area which I'm not too sure what I want to do. I'm definitely going to swap the floor out for something else. Um, not too sure what. And then this line down here as well, but I don't know what yet. But um, yeah, I mean, thus far, this is this is all I've got. And 
Trust me, I've not gone over to the village yet. I am waiting to do that with you guys. I want to make sure that I uh, get all that recorded and it can have its own little time where maybe I can trade a little bit with them and things like that. So maybe I'll get some emeralds first from the mountain before going. But yeah, this is uh, this is my base thus far. It's not very exciting, but I think it'll be a nice little, pretty little hovel on the hill overlooking this beautiful inlet and i think i can see a lot of good stuff going on here we can have a nice big maybe dock coming out here and some ships in the water and maybe a big fort over there i don't know i think we can have a lot of really really cool things but anyways thank you so much for joining me today and please comment what you'd like to see more in this these videos and this adventure that we're going to be going through um yeah i would love to get your ideas love some feedback and some help because i've been playing for a while or rather i started a while ago but i haven't been playing minecraft for a long time now at this point so i am very new to all these new features so please let me know what i can do better how my building is going to be better and i'll make sure to drop any uh, resources i used in the description but thank you so much i love you all and i will talk to you guys later See ya. It's one unique, one special.